Italy is a nation that cherishes its rituals. And yet even here, the cost of living crisis is brewing. For many Italians, this election is happening amid an economic hurricane. This is a situation that will certainly bring some difficulties for everyone. It's not only for the bar pasticceria, it's for everyone. So the girls will have to reduce the personnel, certainly. E stanno verificando. Adesso a ottobre faranno una riunione per decidere eh, come, come gestire la cosa, perché non è, è difficilissimo. Across Italy, the parties and their leaders have been holding their final events before polling stations open on Sunday morning. A cynic row has brought down the last administration. The country does seem to hanker for a fresh start. People are sick and tired of this uh, soulless government. They wish for a government with a clear agenda and uh, an idea for the future. The center-right parties might convince them. A place that has known the extremes of triumph and misery seems in need of optimism. This is a country with a glorious ancient history, but a turbulent modern one. It's only been a republic for 74 years, but this will be the 68th different government. The politics are about impatience. And this election has been guided by anger over the last government and a desire for change and new ideas. What we have found in this election are lots of enthusiastic, noisy young supporters engaged in politics on all sides and keen to reshape their country. We have lost the possibility to dream a future here in Italy. There are many of our coetaneous who have been forced to go abroad in the desperate search for a job and who have never found it. We want to give a future to this country and to the new generation. Italy is a volatile, influential and wealthy nation that now faces both an election and an economic crisis. There are turbulent times ahead.